Welcome everybody to week two of our December online program for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And this month, the theme is what's in your toolbox. So we're just uh, going to throw out a bunch of things that hopefully that you've already discovered from being a, a client at the Sunshine Coast Health Center and that you're actively using in uh, the real world and for your recovery. Okay, last week we talked about the major thing being take charge of your life, but, but also recognizing that you don't get to control everything. So you got to be flexible, things like that. This week, major theme uh, for your toolbox is live life with purpose. There's a lot of research out now that's showing that, for example, if you have depression or trauma or something, and you work, you put all your energy into like trying to control your emotions or I don't know, taking a pill or something like that, that you won't have as good quality of life as if you're actively pursuing something you want out of life. They call it personal strivings in psychology. This is really quite interesting. Lots of research being done now that they can take two groups of people and one just works on, uh, I don't know, like emotional self-regulation or something like that. And the other group does that but they also have goals that they're pursuing, actively achieving. And they always find the people with the goals actually do way better than the people who are just there trying to, you know, eliminate all this suffering in their life. So it's a really good lesson here. Right? And a very famous psychologist, Dan McAdams, always said, if you want a, a really happy life, attach your life to something greater. So the goal that you're pursuing uh, really can't be self-centered or anything like that, right? You, there's going to be something bigger going on in your life. So, I don't know, you're going off to uh, medical school, not because you want to make tons of money or anything like that, but because you want to help people. And again, we've talked about this stuff before in the, in the online program, but this is the idea of attaching your life to something bigger. And one of the things you're going to have to watch out for with this, of course, is uh, intensity and the lure of intensity, right? Addicts love intensity. They love the rush, right? And one of the great things about the rush is it actually feels like something important is going on, even though generally there is nothing important happening. So you're gonna be really careful of that because as you know from being a client at Sunshine Coast, one of the things uh, you discovered, I hope, is that the addiction is a response to living a personally meaningless life, right? And so the way uh, people with addictions deal with this is by rather than living meaningfully, they live intensely, right? So my little joke about addicts live soap opera lives, right? Everything's cranked up, even Narcotics Anonymous, big famous in there. In one of the, in the textbook, it says, we are famous for making mountains out of molehills, right? because there's no guts to our lives, right? But in recovery, what you gotta do is get some guts to your life. You gotta get some goals, get some purpose, right? And if you do that, what you will hopefully discover is that the rush, the intensity, actually gets kind of boring after a while, okay? That's week two of our December program, so we'll see you back next week uh, with a new topic.